another tragic incident. And a nominated Kirinyaga County Assembly member is now calling on the Directorate of Criminal Investigations to expedite the arrest of those involved in the killing of her daughter. Lucy Jerry claims that she has been subjected to a runaround by investigators at the Thika Sub-County Criminal Investigation Offices for over a week with no substantial progress on the case. Our reporter Martin Mwara tells us more. On Saturday, October 12th this year, Seth Nyakio, who is 23 years old, left her parents' home in Kamaki's estate, Kiambu County, to visit a friend in Thika Town. Her mother, Lucy Njeri, a nominated member of the county assembly in Kininyaga County, says her only daughter was in high spirits. But two days later, the 23-year-old's body was discovered in a rented room at Biafra Estate in Thika. Sometimes you give them the, the freedom. Jerry's last conversation with her daughter was on Sunday 13th, she says. I'm not picking my call. Voice call again. She tried to reach her daughter again a couple of times, but could not. Sensing something was amiss, she decided to travel to Thika to investigate. Lakini I think your Saturday ni meenda, you are kapata, I think you have a chance. But while on her way there, one of Seth's friends called to say she discovered a lifeless body lying in her home where Seth was visiting. <laughs> Jerry, accompanied by friends and family, visited the house where her daughter died and found it locked and abandoned, and the landlord was nowhere to be found. The silence of the neighborhood added to the chilling misery surrounding Seth's death. Police were there sana kama masaa mawili au matatu hivi sababu walikuwa wanakuja kumchukua kama saa tatu na nusu. Alafu ndio walimchukua baada ya kupiga picha zote huko alafu wakamchukua wakaenda naye mpaka wakampeleka mocha. Mimi natafuta justice for my daughter. Amenyugwa hivi, haku wananguo, haku wananini. Na alafu theni unaona tu wanaume askali tu wanaona tu kama ni kuku ilichinjwa. A postmortem examination revealed that Seth died as a result of lack of oxygen which resulted from strangulation causing her death. Thika Sub-County Police Commander Lawrence Muchangi has confirmed investigations into the incident but assured the public that the case was being treated seriously. According to close police sources, one of the students who had been with Seth on the fateful Sunday is now in police custody to assist with the investigations. Martin Mora, NTV.